This is Mary McCready from Miami-Dade County Extension. We are here at one of the participants' homes in the, for the water use efficiency program to do a second visit after the irrigation system has been installed. Um, we're just going to do a quick run through of the system, make sure that everything's functioning properly, and she's here. Successful installation would mean that the sensor is functioning properly and is installed in an appropriate place, so sunny, grassy area ideally. The timer is programmed correctly depending on the setup of the irrigation system that we can get the sensor to prevent or allow irrigation based on the reading of the sensor. And hopefully the sensor has been calibrated for the property, um, although generally we don't see that. Okay, so we're here at a city water system, one of the homes that's participating in the UCU water use efficiency program. Um, and it's our, the sensor has been installed along with the new timer. Originally, the system had an indexing valve and an intermatic timer, so now they have this um, SE12 Plus digital timer. Briefly, talking about how the system is wired. Again, this is a city water system, so we do have one electric valve um, along with an indexing valve. So here you can see the hot wire for the valve, um, and it's wired into one of the zone ports. This timer actually allows for up to 12 zones to be wired in, but we only have one electric valve. And then the common wire is in the common port. The sensor is then wired to the electric valve itself, and then communicates with the timer through this wiring, the valve wiring. Um, over here you can see the indexing valve along with the electric valve that goes before this. Um, basically the timer sends a signal to the electric valve and opens it and then water goes through this indexing valve. Right here is the junction box. So the sensor is wired to our electric valve along with its grease cap so water doesn't get in the wires. And then right out there in the landscape, you can see where the sensor was buried. So it's right in a nice location. It's grassy and sunny, full sun most of the day. Um, so it should be a nice dry area so that irrigation, when it is prevented, is only prevented when it's not necessary anywhere. Um, basically, if the driest area gets enough water, everything gets enough. Okay, so we're here at an HOA property and we're getting ready to check on an SCX installation. And here you can see the controller that's been wired into their Rainbird timer. If we open this up, you can see the wiring. It all checks out and looks good. All the proper wires, we're getting numbers, so that's a good sign. Um, you can check the threshold and they're leaving it at 25%. So during our visit, we're gonna be going to adjust that number. But first, we're going to go and reinstall the sensor properly. We're going to reinstall this soil moisture sensor. As you can see, on at the valve level, they didn't bother to bury it underground. It's sticking out of the valve lid. And it's also it was buried in a shady area where there's very little or no turf. So what we're going to do is we're going to bury it and run it out where there's some, at least during some portion of the day, there's some sunshine. And there's also some turf that moves over. Which one of these is the hot, you know, that's going to the home? I know that this one's going to the board right now, but what is it that you think? Um, the only other thing is right now, see this little clock? Uh huh. That means that, right? No sensor. Um, as part of the program, participants receive an irrigation assessment um, during which we turn on the system, we uh, check all of the sprinklers 
to make sure they're working, that uh, there's no leaks or clogs. Uh, we also look for uniformity. We try and make sure there's no dry areas that aren't getting enough water because that causes system inefficiency, which in turn causes waste. Um, we provide them a full report on their system, um, location of breaks and clogs, uh, things that should be adjusted to be more efficient recommendations for how to make the system more efficient. We assess the uh, schedule for the irrigation system, how long it runs and when it runs. We remind them about watering restrictions and um, we provide recommendations on that also.